okay friends so today we will come with the second part of the lidar data processing but today we are going to process the same data in arcgis pro so in our e3 software okay so uh, in arcgis pro it is a very strong software so there you can process uh, the lidar data and uh, some pre-processing things means from the lidar clouds uh, you can see the elevations and slopes uh, okay so once you uh, uh, means see this all uh, before be processed okay so you that kind of output um, you can you can able to create from the point data and you can do the analysis okay so let's start and see uh, how we are going to process the lidar data okay so i have few lidar data uh, here you just see here that is um, some folder I have some uh, LiDAR sample data sets which I have okay so which I am going to use uh, for this particular demo okay that is the, this uh, data sample dot last okay so how we're going to use this data so basically whenever you are going to transform LiDAR data uh, so better you have to convert it in uh, LiDAR data sets okay so in, in ArcGIS so that so many things you can directly apply over the, this data and you can see the output okay so best way is you have to convert it in a, a LiDAR data sets so how will you do that so to doing this you have to go to this analysis and in analysis you have this toolbox so simply you can type uh, LiDAR uh, okay data sorry last data conversion last data two okay so there is a various options will be there so here basically we are going to convert uh, last uh, last data we are actually converting it to uh, you can say um, data sets uh, <coughs> last two data sets okay so there create last data sets so that we are actually going to do first steps which we are going to do that is a create last data sets okay so simply click on that so wherever you have your uh, last data input files so that you have to give okay so either you can open it or you can directly uh, uh, open from the folder so that's not an issue so wherever my data sets will be there some lighter sample data which i'm just trying to open it and these data sets i'm going to save under uh, here suppose i will go to e drive okay so there we can create uh, a sample folder to save our data okay let's see so that is fine suppose i'm creating a folder as a test to light okay so there you can give some sample data you can save it less to sample okay like last data data so you can give a name as the last data so let's go data okay uh, last data processing okay so we are giving a name something like this so let's save this uh, last data and the coordinate system as this last data is already uh, coordinate systems uh, input is will be there so, so it should come actually okay so let's see let's see we will just simply run it and let's see how this last data sets are coming yeah so as it is a pre-processed data what means pre-process means this pre-processing we done okay because lidar points is already contained all the you can say the 
points like geometric points will be there so automatically it will take you to that particular locations and it can see so now you can able to see the lighter point clouds okay so after um, means we are actually uh, creating this last data sets okay so that we are created and we can able to see the point cloud of this so here you can see the various points you can able to see it here and see see once you did you can expand it so you can see the low height to high height so how it is actually coming okay so that part also you can able to see it here most beautiful thing is you can operate um, uh, means before pre-processing means if i am not uh, converting in a raster also i can able to create um, a different kind of things from this data like if i want to see the dem or if i want to see the uh, appearance so all these things we can able to do see if you go in a symbology so there is an option okay so either you can go for uh, this is the elevation is already there okay so either you can go for the elevation if you just simply click on the elevation so you can able to see your data set something like this okay so it will take two minutes time then it is also pre-process over there okay so like this all so that is you can say the elevations okay and then uh, we have some other options you can directly process we process from the lighter data so that is you can calculate the slopes if you want to calculate the slopes so see here the slope maps you can able to create okay so if you want to see the uh, the aspects so that also you can able to create okay so and uh, if you want to go back to suppose this and you want to see the contours okay so that also you can able to create so this is actually contours you just see here exactly it is catching over according to their heights okay so this is the all things you can able to do directly pre-processed here uh, in, in in case of lighter data processing okay so these are the advantage even you have options to to segregate the points suppose you want to see the only the ground points or the non grand points or if you want to see the first return points so those all things also you can you can able to see simply from here if you want to make it <coughs> like single points okay so suppose i want to make it first this lighter last data sets okay that is elevation and if you want to see the um, i think so that is layer is not active or any no problem you can able to see this uh, lighter point clouds over here if you want to go back to the uh, the elevation sets means uh, that elevation data sets you want to see it again now if you want to convert this uh, 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 this last data in a raster format okay so then you can go to again the analysis tool okay and here also you can type simply last data to raster okay so there is one options okay so you can create last data to the team diagram also and if you want to create last data to a raster so that also you can able to make okay so let's click over the last data sets give input about your last data and it should be your elevation here you can make it as a triangulation method this will be the floating points okay and the cell size this for this purpose it will be 0 0.50 the resolution of this okay so let's see if i want to create our dsm digital surface model from this then how it will be looking like so you just simply run it and you can able to cross check about the data sets how it is coming out from the lighter so this is actually a very a nice tool in arcgis pro which is providing you to process the uh, the lighter data directly and you can create a digital surface model over it so this all about the data so that is the quality of how uh, this uh, point cloud we can convert it in digital surface model okay so that's all from my side for this is a very small lecture but this is very effective who are very much interested to process the lighter data in in arcgis pro okay so thank you all